once this is going to get a lot of media attention i feel like too much and with her moon and aries um when there's negativity she kind of wants to get out there everyone welcome back to no life tarot this is a channel about hot topics and see what we can learn from situations this was requested i've been doing a lot of requests lately and i'm very grateful for those who make requests please just make sure you're a subscriber and if you want to make a request write in the comment section subscriber and the video you'd like to see i love you all and thank you so much for being here um let's get into it so first i want to read the chart Jared, derek rose i'm gonna say jared derek rose his son is in libra and his moon is in leo and elena anderson her son is in scorpio moon is in rising moon is in aries and rising is in aquarius very interesting a very interesting combination i feel like sometimes scorpios and libras get along so we shall see so it's about derek rose and elena anderson this was requested so i pulled out the past the present and the future this is intuitive based it's not fact based so please don't treat it as like true or false it's just for fun and we, what we can learn from the situation so the past i get nine of pentacles and a sword of three of materials so i feel like they met at a party i get like she's very um whimsical i suppose that's her rising in aquarius um i'm a double aquarius triple if you count venus i'm a double aquarius but my rising's in Virgo, so i have that uh groundedness but rising in aquarius is often very like go with the flow laissez-faire you know appearing but her son in scorpio is very different to that where she once you get to know her comes across as serious and not so flighty so i'm sure in her past relationships she's men have gotten to know her and kind of like been like oh but he because he has a son in libra and moon in leo he enjoys it he finds it endearing that she has that like two sides so i mean i suppose we all do but some more than others so page of swords eight of pentacles and ten of cups so right now they're enjoying the honeymoon phase i would not be surprised if they secretly get married or plan some like a commitment for a long time um i see possible children i see he's very endeared is that word endeared i think that is a word he he's infatuated with her so the future being the chariot hanged muse which is the hanged man and six of wands this is going to get a lot of media attention i feel like too much and with her moon and aries um when there's negativity she kind of wants to get out there and prove people wrong so like my relationship's like this you don't know me and he's like okay just chill think about it um even though his moon is in leo i see him being more rational it might be his upbringing because upbringing does have an impact but with king of pentacles he's sitting on a lot of money um but it's almost like she's nothing like he has ever experienced and he really likes that about her so with the moon ten of wands and page of pentacles i see them moving possibly moving to another house i think they might already have a kid together i just saw a little kid if they don't they probably will i'm like 80 to 90 percent sure king of pentacles six of wands he's really into her he caught she caught his eye on social media so she might be like a glam model you know those people um i haven't really done like i said i don't do lots of research on people because i like it to be as organic as possible but i get the sense that she's like a glam model that kind of thing he was like she's cute and she's deep and she's deep i like that i like that he likes the drama i suppose moon and leo leo's don't necessarily like drama but they like i don't want to offend leos because i love it it's my favorite time Leo. but leos like to be the center of drama if that makes any sense from what i've seen i love leos are so considerate and compassionate so 
king of swords the emperor and queen of pentacles so he is looking how to make her money he wants to make sure he's so sweet he wants to make sure that she is financially taken care of um before they really commit so he's willing to wait for her for her career to do well and then um and then commit and then have kids and then all that kind of stuff so knight of pentacles and the magician he's helping her a lot behind the scenes she might not necessarily know because i feel like with him in an area he's very stubborn she's like i want to do it myself but he's definitely helping her behind the scenes he's very sweet very very good guy i can see that so i pulled a card for healing and i got karma there's nothing from a past life that can't be addressed in the current life interesting so i feel like he might not have always been like this i think he in the past was kind of like a player um especially libras oh my gosh uh, and i think that now he was like you know what i'm going to do the right thing i'm going to correct my wrongs i'm going to do right and i'm going to make an impact and really be there for the person that i want to be with so i hope you enjoyed that I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, share the video if you feel like somebody will like it. And yeah, comment. Let me know. Have you been in a situation like this? I always love hearing your personal story. So please comment. And yeah, take care.